I mean, yeah, it's for sure something we've been working on as a as a group of centermen for for a while because faceoffs are so big, it just gives you puck possession right to start. So we knew that that'd be a big key to our success. So it's really something we focus on. It's huge. It's definitely nice to find chemistry. Um, I played with Rosie before, and obviously I know Nolan so well, so it's pretty easy. But uh, I mean, we've been having a lot of fun um, just in practice, just trying to get to learn where each other are every day. And uh, we've definitely been clicking as a line and finding some chemistry, so it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, um, for sure. It's, it's not fun playing from behind. It's not easy playing from behind. So. Um, we really talked about trying to get the first one coming out from the puck drop ready to go. So uh, it was huge the past few games. We've had good starts and good first, and we need to keep building on that. Anything else for John? Thank you. Good job, Tony. Yeah, you know, from our end, you know, I thought we executed really, really well here today, and we got up to a 2 0 uh, lead. and. Um, you know, second period wasn't a great period for us, and then I thought in the third period that we uh, we played really smart, um, did a lot of little things well, chipping pucks out, gaining zones, getting pucks in deep, uh, staying above the puck in trouble down low, you know, eating pucks, and uh, you know, Merrimack's a tough team. It was a tough series. Um, you know, they they got us last night uh, by a goal and empty netter, and then uh, you know we knew tonight was going to be another grind. And Mark Coach Denny is well is has his team always well prepared and. Um, you know, it was that type of game again. It's, you know, a one goal game and as, as many hockey games are and you just got to find a way to, to win it. And, uh, you know, we're certainly, you know, you know, coming from a little bit behind because of our poor start. But, it, you know, you got to get points each and every weekend series. And, you know, I was happy with, uh, with the two points here tonight. And then, um, you know, we'll, we'll get back to work on, on Monday or Tuesday. You know, there's a lot of things that we can do to shore, shore up our game. Yeah, kind of night and day, Mike. Right when you see that we took eight last night and four in the last eight minutes of the uh, of the second period, and we took one here tonight. And you know, there's been a major emphasis the last few weeks uh, on it. And you know, after last night, it, it just got to a point where you know, enough's enough, boys. And and the guys responded. And you know, the one penalty we did take wasn't a bright penalty, but you know, we killed it off and and we were able to bounce back. But that's the whole thing. You have to have discipline in your game, and I thought we had it tonight in our systems and in our actions. But, yeah, very happy with that. How big is that? Do you think that had on just not being down in the end for, for a big part of it? Yeah, no, significant, right? Because what happens is you're, you're only using – you're shortening your bench when you have to kill penalties. You're, you're going with four, four defensemen or so, and you're going with you know six forwards. And – so you're expending a lot of it, a lot of you know energy killing penalties, and then on top of it, you just lose that rhythm of momentum. And uh, if the other team doesn't score, and but they have some good chances, now that momentum is even on their side, so now you're trying to regain momentum, uh, and you could have been coming off having momentum and taking a penalty. So you know it's key, and you gotta you know you gotta stay out of the box, and you know no one no one. We'll ever have a problem killing a, you know, killing off a good penalty, but it's when you get two or three, you know, real dumb penalties, um, you know, it starts to, you know, wear guys down. Yeah, Jeff, I, you know, I, I, I thought, I, you know, I know we were, we were coming in wanting to be, I don't like to use the word desperate, but um, urgency, you know, is is a word that we use a lot. And there was there needed to be a sense of urgency from our from our side here tonight in terms of responding. Um, you know, you can see that's the standings. You know, when things start to get formulated early, and we we need to continue feeling good about ourselves and our game. And so I like the way we responded. Uh, I got to be honest, with you, I thought we played well last night, and then you know, up until eight and a half minutes left in that second period, when we took ourselves out of the game, and you know, it was a, a, obviously a good game and a one goal game. But you know, I thought we responded well tonight, and we did have urgency to our game. Yeah, I did, Jeff. Yeah, 
Yeah, you know, we if you look back at our first, you know, five or six games, we we didn't win many offensive draws, and you know, it certainly helps your power play, particularly when you're on, you know, when you go into power play, and although it was only two chances, but we were able to keep pucks in our own, keep pucks in the offensive zone, and generate some offensive chances. So, um, you know, the numbers, uh, you know, look good here for us today on the on, on the faceoffs, and it's something we've got to continue to work at, um, and it's been a point of emphasis the last you know three weeks. Yeah, it is, and you know, and because he hasn't played much this year, you know, and he's played the last four games, and you know, and played the first couple, and then there was a stretch there for uh, four weeks where he didn't play, and you know, and uh, you know, the first weekend up in New Hampshire, you just had to get used to playing again, you know, and you can't replicate in practice what happens in a game, and so you know, I think our team are in sync with him, um, and you know, and just and he communicates you know really well back there, so he helps out our defensemen. So um, it, we need to build momentum that way. I mean, he's going to be a him and Derek are both going to be a big part of our success. We, we, we need to have that good goaltending. Um, we need to score a few more goals than we're scoring right now also. But, uh, you know, we've we got to get better in our D zone, and a lot of that is, you know, the backbone of our goaltender. So, yeah, we, we need to feed off that momentum.